get to our fields guide presented by Green Ridge Farm. Had some Green Ridge Farm at the tailgate today. Jalapeno cheddar. Oh, so good. So good. Check them out. Uh, Justin Fields. Look, this this was actually a good passing game. This is I, 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 the, the interceptions at the end of the game suck. They are part of the equation. We will talk about it all. Just the first one, more but, so than the second. Um, I honestly haven't even seen a replay of the second one yet. But, look, he was throwing the ball today. He had some dimes downfield. He was going through his progressions. I think this was a good quarterback day for Justin Fields. He finishes 20 for 25. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you throw the graphic back up there? I didn't read it off. Sure, sure, sure. I, sure, I sure. haven't gotten through it's it. It's such the, a beautiful graphic. The pod. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at how he's given us that beautiful pose. Are yeah. you not entertained? That's, you know, his Chris Angel pose. 254 yards. Guys, that's more in the passing yards department than uh, typically he's had this season. I think that's the most. his season high. We yeah. said that on the pregame. And then uh, rushing, he had 71 rushing yards, almost all of which came on his 56-yard touchdown run. Gale Sayers. Um, First quarterback ever to have three 50-plus yard rushing touchdowns in the history of the NFL for their career. That's not cra- for a season. That's crazy. Which he did in one season, but for any player in the history of the NFL. Mike Vick, Lamar Jackson, none of them. Justin Kaepernick. Fields, most 50-yard touchdown rushes Ever. Randall Cunningham. This Randall is why Cunningham. I don't want to. He, this is why I don't want to, like, waste these moments. It's not a because, waste. But here's the, just the reality. He's not going to have that top-end third gear speed or whatever you want to call it. That's true. Forever. That's true. You know, you, health or not, he's just, it's just, it's, it's going to go well, away at some point. No, and it's. So. And to, it's just, <laughs> to, to, to that point, I'm right. talking about. I'm not saying his running ability. I'm saying when he breaks in the clear, you know he's gone. Gone because those DBs can't catch him. That top end gear is not always going to yeah, be there. He reached 20.15 miles per hour today. I believe that's the it's the most 20 plus yard mile per hour, or 20 plus mile per hour rushes since 2018. I yeah. believe. Yeah, he's, he'll have it for at least the next four years, Adam. Let's hope. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I just I, I think the most important thing was his growth as a passer today, and I think it sucks that it didn't come through in the fourth quarter. I didn't think the play calling helped him at times. Like he, it's it's almost like the let Russ cook thing. Like there's moments in that game where he's just he's 14 to 16, he's hitting all his receivers, and then you're running on third and five. Now I the only thing is maybe there's a check in there and he's reading the box and he checked to a run. They have run the ball on third and medium a lot this season, which has been frustrating at times. But, man, it just seemed like if a missed opportunity. A check, it's a bad check. Well, it, but it, if but it's it not, might not be based on their rules. Call. You know what I mean? Like, if he read the box and checked to a run because that's what then they, they teach Then they need him. to get into the situational. And, I agree. Then don't say, run one of those plays. Yeah, do not... You're, we're, we're throwing it no matter what. I, I'm still hung up on the interception. I mean, the St. Brown, it looks like he's trying to stop for eight miles, and it's not a good route. Komet's wide open on the play. You're moving down the field. To your point, to Braggs, like the ball. You, at that point, you are in control. You can, you're, 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 you can start winding a little bit of clock, going to a strength in David Montgomery. You could have done that too, but like – I, I there's there there is a and I'm not listen I think it's very clear that Justin has the talent to do it and that ultimately eventually I will bet on the fact that he will do it as far as like sitting back throw the football lead the Bears to wins in the fourth quarter but uh, and I get we all get that it's way better for the Bears to be sitting comfortably in that two spot as uh, they go into the bye and we'll see what the final four weeks bring but I. I, it's in the moment. It's it was disappointing to see it happen once again. Period. End of story. 